Hello. So this is my four month update. I didn't, I was going to do a three month update, but um, I got really sick on the third month of carnivore. I got COVID and I got a gastro bug and there didn't seem any point in doing an update because I was so unwell. But I can honestly say in the last, um, in the last six weeks, there has been uh, exponential changes in my energy. Um, I've gone from being, uh, well, pretty much housebound and sometimes bedridden to now um, getting out of the house every single day. Um, I've gone from doing 1,500 steps. But on a good day, I would have done 2,500. And on a normal day, 1500, I'm now doing five to 6,000 steps a day. And it's not, not even difficult. Um, I want to go for a walk. I've got energy to go for a walk. I'm craving to move. Um, uh, yeah, I just, I really don't recognize myself. This is the best I have been in eight years. Um, and it's almost like I've become really frustrated to get my full energy back. It's like, almost like I'm greedy for more because I've been sedentary for so long and you know what it's like when you're really sick you don't want to do stuff you don't want to go places you don't really have that desire it's not it's not in your reality so um now it's in my reality and I thought probably a few weeks ago I thought to myself you know what I am I am so sick of getting ubers at this and I'm so sick of riding my electric bike when I need to go to the chemist or somewhere, I thought, I think I'm ready for a car. And I haven't had a car for about sort of six years. Um, and uh, so I bought a car and it's been liberating. Um, prior, prior to this carnivore diet, I did have access to my husband's car, but it was not, driving was not an enjoyable experience. I was so scared that I would pass out behind the wheel and I had a, have actually blacked out a couple of times in the past just briefly which is when I stopped driving I just thought I'm just not safe on the roads um now I'm just back to the joy of driving and how relaxing it is and just my whole life has opened up just with I'd say I've gained about before the carnival diet I was running at about 30 to 40 percent energy probably 30 percent most days um, I wasn't walking daily. I wasn't, I was just in survival mode. Um, now I would estimate my energy has risen in the last four months. So it's been exactly four months since I started carnivore. And in the last six weeks, four to six weeks, my energy has increased by about a solid 30%. Absolutely solid. And it's, um, I've gone from having two okay days a month to having two good days a week plus multiple half days so um yeah it's it's pretty it's pretty insane i would there's like a light has come on inside of me and i just i'm so grateful and i have so much hope um for the months ahead because I was, you know, a big fan of um, Tammy and Jordan Peterson and they, um, and, and a Michaela, of course. And, you know, I, I think it's like the people that I follow on Carnivore, the doctors that I follow on the Carnivore Diet on YouTube, Tammy and Jordan Peterson and Michaela, especially Tammy and Jordan, I guess, because they're, they're in the older category and they're just say, they're just aging backwards. I think they've been doing it for about five years now. And Tammy Peterson has healed lupus and frozen shoulder and but these and what Jordan Peterson lost a bunch of weight no longer has depression um no longer has periodontal disease but what I find interesting is when people give their stories and they've been on carnivore long term they end up it's like they um the changes keep coming you know it's not like all your changes are going to come in three months the changes and the health improvements start around three months and then they just keep going for years so like Tammy Peterson couldn't like move her shoulder high high oh there's my fedubitas <laughs> she couldn't move her shot her um her arm higher than this 
due to her shoulder. Two years on Carnivore, all gone. Um, Jordan Peterson, three years on at the three-year point on Carnivore, no more periodontal disease. Now there's no cure for that. Like, like this, just ongoing healing and health, and like Tammy jokes that they're aging backwards and. It's exciting like I'm only four months in and I'm pretty convinced within the next year or two I will be completely completely healed um, so yeah um, am I getting bored no <laughs> I, it's just never boring um, what do they say um, hunger is the best seasoning when I sit down to a meal I'm hungry and I never get sick of steak sometimes I swap it out for chicken or um, what else uh, lamb I don't really like those as much whenever I sit down to any other meat than steak I wish it was steak so I'm just sticking with my ribeyes or my scotch fillets as we call them here in Australia um, and I have a few eggs and I have my butter coffee and uh, so my my eating throughout the day I tend to eat twice a day I eat when I'm hungry um, which is usually around and this is what's working for my body I usually get hungry around um, around seven or eight o'clock and then I have a butter coffee halfway through the day and a nice generous tablespoon of butter and then um, I have a second meal around two o'clock if I'm sometimes I'm hungry and I have a meal at, at midday and then another small snack um, sometimes I have a little tin of, <clears throat> tin of sardines or a little tin of chicken if I'm hungry later on uh, it depends now how many how much you know activity I've been doing because I'm much hungrier the more I do so it, it fluctuates but for the most part I am I'm just enjoying my food and I'm not obsessing it's very a very simple approach to life I do all my shopping and it comes in like three bags like a bag of meat a bag of butter and a bag of um, other bits and pieces it's eggs eggs um, so yeah so that's what my average day will look like. Um, yeah, it, I, I won't, well, this video is seven minutes. I won't make this video go, video go for too long, except to say, um, full of hope, uh, definitely proven a trend that it's not just a one-off. Um, I look at my calendar and what I do is I highlight, um, if I've had a good day all day, I highlight the whole box. If it's been a half day, I'll highlight the top of the bottom, depending on whether it was morning or afternoon, that was the good part of the day. And it's just covered in yellow, covered in highlighter, because there's so many good days and so many good mornings and so many good afternoons. And um, not to say I don't have setbacks and difficult days, because I do, and but they're nowhere near as brutal as the suffering I was going through before with the like flu symptoms. Uh, it used to be that I couldn't, if I had a good day in that past eight and a half years, if I had a good day, I knew the next day would be uh, post exertional malaise. I would never have two good days in a row. Never. Now I can have two or three good days in a row and there's no, there's no significant crash. Um, there's weariness and tiredness, but overall, to be honest, like I've just been, I'm really unfit for life. I've spent eight and a half years doing virtually nothing. Um, and I've, like anybody, I've got to build up a fitness for general life and and body fitness. And um, actually, um, about a beginning of last month, that probably, yeah, I guess um, six, seven weeks ago, um, I was getting terrible muscle pain throughout my legs. It was um, called DOMS, um, delayed onset muscle soreness. And it, it was so bad, it would cripple me for the next couple of days. So even though I had energy, I couldn't walk anywhere because my legs were so sore. So it did, it did send me into a bit of a panic because I didn't really understand that. I went and saw a physio and he just said to me, he said, you're moving for the first time in eight years. He said, you're waking up all of those muscles that haven't been used. He said, just stay off the inclines because the inclines were a million times worse. And within three weeks, I've increased the fitness in all of my muscles. And now I don't. Now I can go up and down inclines, do my 6,000 steps, up and down hills, 
no problems. So it's rebuilding myself from the ground up. Uh, this food, this nutrient dense, non-inflammatory food is, it's rebuilding me. So um, lots of internal changes that I can't see, lots of external changes I can see and lots of hope for the future. So anyway, that's my, my, my update. I'll do another one in a, uh, maybe around December. Thanks for listening.